The Celtiberians were a group of Iron Age peoples inhabiting the central and northern parts of the Iberian Peninsula, particularly the Meseta region, during the late 1st millennium BCE. They were a fusion of indigenous Iberian and Celtic influences, resulting in a unique culture that combined elements from both traditions. Celtiberian clothing was practical and reflected their status and environment. Men typically wore tunics, often made of wool, which were secured at the waist with a belt. Over the tunic, they donned cloaks, known as sagum, which served as protection against the cold. Women wore long dresses, frequently adorned with intricate patterns. Jewelry such as brooches, bracelets, and necklaces was common, crafted from bronze, silver, or even gold. Sandals or simple leather shoes were standard. Wool and linen were the primary materials used, dyed with natural pigments derived from plants and minerals. Celtiberians celebrated seasonal festivals tied to agricultural cycles. They also honored a pantheon of deities associated with nature, war, and the underworld. Warrior culture was prominent, with rites of passage often involving demonstrations of bravery. Their settlements, known as castros, were usually built on hilltops for strategic defense. These forts were surrounded by stone walls and ditches to deter invaders. The dwellings within castros were circular or rectangular, made of stone foundations and topped with thatched roofs. Floors were often compacted earth. After Roman conquest, Celtiberian settlements began to incorporate Roman architectural elements like forums and bathhouses. Celtiberian pottery was functional, but often decorated with artistic motifs. They employed hand-building and wheel-throwing techniques, firing their pottery in kills. Common designs included geometric patterns, spirals, and animal figures, often painted in red or black. Iberian influences introduced more intricate decorations, while Celtic motifs emphasized natural and abstract shapes. For this video, I gathered two Celtiberian genomes. Let's nickname them Fergus and Bridget. Fergus was male and carried Y lineage I2A and mitochondrial lineage H1. Bridget was female and carrier mitochondrial lineage U5B. Let's begin with the DNA results of Fergus. Fergus was predicted to have brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin tone, straight hair texture, and a Greek-shaped nose. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, Fergus was predicted to have an intermediate profile between warrior and warrior. He was predisposed to intermediate number of D2 receptor sites. He was predisposed to higher odds of autism, average levels of empathy, and was a carrier of either blood type A or B. Fergus had higher than average odds of hemoglobin E disease, exfoliation glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, rheumatoid arthritis, epilepsy, male powder baldness, multiple sclerosis, glioma, and testicular cancer. He carried risk variants for Parkinson's disease. He had lower than average odds of erythema nodosum, migraine, polycystic ovary syndrome, leukemia, corneal astigmatism, atrial fibrillation, Alzheimer's, and prostate cancer. Now let's meet Bridget. Bridget is predicted to have brown eyes, dark brown hair, olive skin tone, wavy hair texture, and a Greek-shaped nose. Regarding her dopaminergic profile, she is predicted to have an intermediate profile between warrior and warrior. She was predisposed to intermediate number of D2 receptor sites. She was predisposed to intermediate odds of autism, average levels of empathy, and was a carrier of blood type A. Bridget had high odds of erythema nodosum, exfoliation, glaucoma, rheumatoid arthritis, corneal astigmatism, primary biliary cirrhosis, male pattern baldness, type 1 diabetes, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, breast cancer, and polycythemia vera. She carried risk variants for tuberculosis, susceptibility, and spina bifida. She had lower than average odds of kidney stones, hemoglobin E disease, migraine, gout, polycystic ovary syndrome, age-related macular degeneration, vitiligo, ADHD, prostate cancer, and testicular cancer. Thank you for watching until the end. Links to download these files, as well as my trait predictor will be in the description.